Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus pray all the time. Amen. We are record that Jesus pray all the time. And he pray for the disciples and for not only for those that was walking with him, but he pray for all believers. Amen. And he continue praying for all. Because the Bible says they interceding for all. They are sitting at the right hand of the Father interceding for us. Amen? Amen. What better prayer than the prayer of Jesus? Because Jesus always pray according to the will of the Father for us. Amen? Amen. Jesus never going to pray something amiss or something is not according to the will of the Father for our life. Amen? Uh, we can't rely on the prayer of Jesus, you no, know? like other people, you know, they pray and, and maybe they have good intention, but they don't know what the will of the Father. Okay. For your life. Amen. Amen. So if we rely on the prayer of men, but we not rely on the prayer of Jesus. Come on. When the Bible is telling us that he prayed for us. And he continue praying for us. Amen. Amen. Do you think nobody's praying for you? Hey, somebody praying for you. That's a Jesus. Come on. And he really loves you. Amen. Amen. He loves you. And he pray for you. Not like some people sometimes tell you, I pray for you. No, no, I tell you, pray. Others tell you, we pray for you. They don't pray. But Jesus all the time. Amen. Amen. All the time he's praying for us. Amen. You know why he's praying for us? That the will of God be fulfilled in our life. That's right. Amen. Yes. The every promise of God come to pass in our life. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Remember when he prayed for Peter? Before Peter betrayed him, he prayed before that happened. He said, Satan wants to sweep you, uh, Peter. I will be praying for you that when you come back, you have his brothers, you see. He prayed Jesus. He knew what's going to happen to Peter. And he prayed. He prayed for, what he prayed? For the restoration of Peter. Jesus prayed for us. In this very moment, in this very hour, Jesus prayed for us. They all the promise, they all God's purpose for our life be fulfilled for Amen. us. Amen. Amen. Jesus is more interesting than us there, that the will of the Father be fulfilled in our life. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. If God show you His will for you, don't be afraid. Amen. Jesus pray for you. Come on. That all those things come to pass. Amen. Yes, we, we have some struggles opposition that Jesus prayed for us. Amen. Amen. Be at peace. Come on. Be joyful. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Come on. Carnal of joy. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's go to John chapter 17. We always have to go to the word of God. Amen. Amen. Always. Amen. Let's start in verses in John 17. I say John 17, right? Amen. Are you there? Amen. Yes. He's talking about his disciples, about he's talking here in John 17. He said, I have manifest your name to the men whom you have given me. Out of the world, the were yours, you gave them to me, and they have kept you were. Now they have known that all things which you have given me are from you. For I have given to them the words which you have given me, and they have received them, 
They see that they mean they believe. Okay. And have known truly that I came forth from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. Amen. Jesus pray for the disciples. Amen. I pray for them. I do not pray for the words, but for those who you have given me. For they are yours. And all my are yours. And all my are yours. And yours are mine. And I'm glorified in them. Now I no longer in the world, but these are in the world. Amen. And I come to you, Holy Father. Keep to your name those who you have given me. Jesus praying for the disciples. The God keep the disciples Amen. here in this era. Amen. That means keep that means to protect them. Amen. Amen. That they may be one as we are, one unity. Amen. No word unity, but the unity of the kingdom. Amen. Amen. Verse 12. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Though you gave me a cat, I protect them. That's what he said. And no then is law said the song of perdition that the scripture might be fulfilled, but now I come to you and this thing I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I give them your word, and the world has hated them because they are not of the world. Yes, I am not of the world. Amen. Jesus in, in prayer, praying for his disciples, talking with the Father, saying the, the, the disciples, the believers, you know, he praying for them, for those, those men that were with him in that time, he's praying for us too. Amen. Okay. And Jesus saying that they're not of the world, like him was of the world. Come on. We're not of this world. That's right. We have a win now of this world. Amen. Amen. When we born again, we born to another kingdom, another Amen. place. We we help. And people can see us in the flesh. But we're not from here. Amen. Amen. You see, it is important to we keep the word of Jesus or of the word of God. You see. Jesus, I have given them your word. The word we have to receive it. Amen. Amen. I have given, verse 14, I have given them your word. And the world has hated them because they are not of the world. Just as I am not of the world. Amen. Are you receiving that? You're not of this world? Amen. Are you receiving the word of God? Amen. He just said that the, the word that he spoke to his disciples, speaking to us, nice word, is the word of the Father. Amen. Amen. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world. Don't tell God to take you out of this world. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> People with finger stabs said, Lord, take me, take me. Mm -hmm. No. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. Yes. When you struggle, when you think the devil had you against the, the wall, pray the fire to help you, not to take you out. Come on. Because you have prayed to the Father already for you. They keep you from the evil one, from the devil, from the skin of the devil, from the attack of the devil, and from those that the devil used to attack you. Okay. Verse 16. They are not of the world, just I am not of the world. Jesus repeated, repeated the same thing. We're not of this world. 
And you put that in your heart and in your mind. Come on. Jesus repeated, when Jesus repeated, so you pay attention. Okay? Yeah. He said, they are now of this world like I am now of this world. And he repeated that. We read it. Amen. Before, right? Yeah. Get it. Keep it. Amen. That's you have to keep it. That's right. That you have to believe it. You have to put it in your heart and in your mind. Yes. And now this world. Amen. You think you are from here. But you think you are from here because your flesh. He said, you said the believer is not supposed to love this world, neither the things of this world. That's right. Because who love this world and the things of the world, they long on the fire line and then on here on earth. What you said, because here from Jesus, I mean, Jesus repeated them. Jesus praying here, but you don't think that Jesus repeated that to them when he was walking with them. Hey guys, you know what's You don't think Jesus told them, when I go to the cross and, and raise again, I'm going to receive my spirit. I'm going to see all you. You from another dimension from that day on. <laughs> <laughs> we are from another dimension. Amen. From the heavenly dimension. Yes. We are. Yes. Maybe you don't feel that way, but you are. You are. Amen. You are what the Lord said you are. Yes. That's what you have to believe. Not what your mind said, not what your flesh said, not what other people say about you. Come on. Verse 16, they are not of the world, just I am not of the world. You see? Have you, have you heard that? Let me repeat. 16 again, they are not of the world just as I am not of the world. Amen. Amen. We can stay and repeat this <laughs> until we get it. Amen. Until we get it. Until your heart and mind get it. He said, pray that one wants to believe it. Yes. Verse 18, as you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And for their sake, I sanctify myself, that they also may be sanctified by the truth. Separate yourself, Jesus said, Amen. from this world. Come on. How we separate from this world? With the truth, receiving the truth, keeping the truth. Amen. What is the truth? The word of God. Amen. The word of God is the truth. See, that way you say, keep my word. You know, for thing, keep it. Meditate in the word of God day and night. Amen. Why? Do you do conform me to the world? Do you live conform me to the world? That's why we meditate something. We will learn to be part of us. Amen? Yes. We don't study the world to know more than others. Come on. But to be a spiritual, prideful. Oh, I know this. I know the world. I have revelation. That's to live it. Yes. See, the truth separates you. Already God separates you when you receive Jesus in your heart. But the truth continues helping you in that separation from the world. Yeah. And to you more, you know, more know the truth. Just remember, you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Mm -hmm. And to you know more the truth what happened, you separate more and more from this world. Come on. See, 
you still really live in what Jesus prayed for, for us. You are now this world. Amen. They are now this world. You see, you start living that until you more and more know the truth. The separation starts being what known. Start manifesting in your life. Yes. Even people start seeing it. And you that you are not of this world. Amen. And nobody gonna understand that. They don't need to understand Amen. why you are different. Come on. No, we are different. Yes. <laughs> I see people acting weird in the church. That's that's not even God that you know that's not of God. Doing weird things, acting weird, behaving weird. You know, Separation, manifestation that they you now this world is different than uh, acting weird. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Let me repeat verse 19. And for the sake I sanctify myself that the also, you see, also may be sanctified by the truth. You see, Jesus sanctified himself. And he said, okay, I sanctify myself. You have to. Come on. Said, and by the truth, we help you. Yeah. And that's sanctif in that process of sanctification. We are already sanctified by the fire. But, but Jesus saying there has to be a, that manifestation that we are set apart, that we are sanctified, that we are now this world. There has to be a manifestation. Come on. A proof in a life. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are you listening? Amen. Verse 20. I did not pray for this alone. But also for those who will believe in me through their word. That means he prayed for us too. <laughs> you see, he wasn't praying just for those who was walking with him, but for all believers. Yes. Even for those who come after us. They're going to believe because we are preaching the gospel, because we are ch we're sharing the gospel. Those who believe, is a prayer for us. So that prayer was for, for them too. Yes. That prayer. And Jesus continued praying for us in heaven, sitting at the right hand of the Father. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why he said, He never could leave us, never could forsake us. That's right. Never. Like parents. The children leave the house, the partners never stop praying for the kids. I pray for all my children. I don't see them. Some of them I haven't seen in a long time. But I pray for them. Every day. Maybe they think my, my, my father maybe not remember me every single day, every minute. Every second, I think about all of you, and I pray that God fulfill His good will in your life. It's good will. What He have for you guys. What He have purpose in heart for you. Before you was born in this world, I have purpose for you. Amen. I have a plan. Yeah, I, pray, I don't pray for my will in your life. I pray for the will of God in your life. Come on. For the purpose of life, of God in your life. That's what Jesus prayed. I don't pray that you do this and that. I pray, God, you will be done in their life. Cause them to follow you. Not because I say, and because that's your will. And 
and he continued praying to the disciples. That's our prayer for us too. Amen. Verse 20 we say, that they all may be one, as you Father are in me, and I in you, that they also may be one. When they're talking about one, one and the same doctrine, the same gospel, the same heart. Amen. Not try to let's be together, let's be one, let's be in agreement and everything. No. Agreement only on the truth of God. Amen. And the right doctrine, the truth doctrine of Christ. Amen. One. One purpose. God purpose. That's what Jesus prayed. Nothing else. Not the all being agreement. agreement. <laughs> and what? And the will of the Father. Come on. People want you to get an agreement with them for everything, no? Let's be one. One and what? Let's be one in the, in the will of God. Let's be one in the true gospel. Let's be one in the true doctrine. Amen. Amen. Two cannot work together in an agreement. That's right. We're going to work together. We're going to work together in the, in the true gospel, in the right doctrine. Amen. And now we cannot work together. That's right. I love you. We can now work together. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You remember, repeat verse 21. That they all may be one. As you, Father, as you, Father, are in me. Amen. And I are, and I and you, one, that they also may be one in us. You see, but to be, how we become one with Jesus and the Father? You will walk in His will. That's right. Two can work together in an agreement. Amen. Amen. Are you walking with God? Come on. Are you walking with Jesus? Come on. That means you telling me you walking according to His will. Yes. According to His word, you keeping His words. Amen. That the world may believe that you sent me. Amen. Verse 22. And the glory which you gave me have given them. You see, God, the glory of the song. Amen. That they may be one just as we are one. Verse 23. I am in them. I am them. I am them. And you and me that they may be made perfect in one. You see, togetherness and the same will of God and the same purpose of the gospel will become stronger. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Complete. Perfect. I mean complete. Yes. Together. You see, that's what it's called the body of Christ. Amen. That's why I call the body of God. You do your part, I do my part according to the will of God, and we become perfect together. Yes. Don't, don't attack your brother and your sister, they're doing the will of the Father. Let them do the will of the Father. Come on. Don't be kind, a stumbling blow. Because then you're fighting against God, you're fighting against Jesus. You're not fighting with men. Don't be fooled. That they may be, be made perfect in one, in that the world may know that you have sent me and love them as you have loved me. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We represent Jesus here in this earth, okay? Every believer represents Jesus here in this earth. 
Mais it's supposed to be that way. But only those that are representing him now is those who they are keeping his word and doing his will. Amen. Amen. Verse 24. Father, I decided that they also who you gave me may be with me where I am. That they may behold my glory which you have given me. For you loved me before the foundation of the world. O oh, righteous Father, the world has not known you, but have known you. And these are known that you sent me. And had declared to them your name. And we declare it that the love with which you loved me may be in them. And I am in them. Amen. Amen. Jesus said to you that if we love him, we keep his commitments, we keep his word. Amen. Amen. This is how we show love to Jesus, keeping his word. Walking according to his will here in this earth, amen. According to his purpose, amen. 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 That's what we represent Jesus. Yes. Nothing weird. Just doing it. His will. You know, most of the time the will of God. It's contrary to what you want to do, <laughs> or the world wants you to do. That's why he said the world will hate you. Yeah. Hate him the same way going to hate us. Because if you're really working with Jesus, you're, you walk or live contrary to this world system. And because that, the world will hate you. Do not be afraid. Jesus praying for you. Come on. He's the one who fight you battle. Amen. Don't fight. Don't get in the flesh. Be in the spirit, like the song said. You know, you you fight and, and pray. Yes. Amen. Go kneel down. Go lay down and pray. Whatever you like to pray, go sit down and pray. Walk around and pray. Any way you want to pray, but go and pray. They're talking too much nonsense and fighting the flesh. Word you word and the spirit. Yes. Are you not tired to fight in the flesh? That made you sick. Okay. That made you sick. Do things in the spirit, like Jesus did. Jesus showing how he showed how to do things. Amen. Go and pray. Remember, Jesus always pray all the time. Let's do the same. Let's do the same. And don't be afraid. He praying for us right now. Yes. You're not alone. for all believers and he's still praying he's still praying for those right now amen hallelujah thank you Jesus he never leaves us alone amen see Jesus prayed for the unity of the believers. The unity, one gospel, one yeah. purpose. Yes. For that unity, that's what the Jesus prayed. For that unity, that we do the will of God, that we fulfill the calling that God has for our life. The purpose of, life, of God for our life, the unity of the sound dot in the gospel Amen. of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's unity that what he's praying for. Yes. 
usually walking with Jesus, you can you cannot unite to another gospel. Come on. And be forced to be united with something that's not of God. Amen. They're not the vision. They're getting a vision. Yes, I want to be against any vision. They're not the vision of God for my life. Amen. And I want to be part of that. Come now. on. I'm not against you. I'm not going to unite to something that's not of God. I'm not going to partake of that. Jesus prayed for us. And we see what Jesus prayed for us. I say amen to that. Amen. Let's go to John 14. John 14, John 14, John 14, verse 15. Are you there? Did you love me? You love Jesus? Amen. Hear this. Keep my commandments. Amen. We know the commitment of Jesus, the same commitments of the Father. Amen. Because Jesus only said or he what the Father, what he heard from the Father. He never was against the Father. And Jesus don't appreciate those who doesn't love the Word of God. Because he loves the Word of God, Jesus. I love to do the will of God. That's Jesus said. Amen? If you love me, keep my commandments. Amen. Amen. You see, you love Jesus and you love the Father. Amen. Keep his commitments. Amen. Amen. And you will pray the Father. And he will give you another helper. And we know he did it. Amen. Amen. We know that, right? That he may advance with you forever. Verse 17, the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. Amen? It's only for the believers. Amen? Amen. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not, I will not live you orphans i will come to you amen and we know that what the holy spirit we pray the father and the holy spirit the spirit came and dwelling most amen even the baptism of the spirit too was the promise of the father came to us too amen and jesus we see that jesus prayed for all the disciples all the believers. Amen. Amen. He continued praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we know he prayed. And the Father hears his prayer because the Father sent the Holy Spirit to us. Amen? You have the Holy Spirit. That was the prayer that the Jesus prayed. That the believer received the Holy Spirit. Amen? Hallelujah. But we need to keep his word, okay? Amen. Jesus prayed. The Father did. What Jesus prayed, and but we need to do our part. Let's keep His word. Amen. What it means to keep Jesus' word, obey it. 
obedience to his word. Amen. Live and walk according to his word. Amen. Amen. And remember, Jesus prayed for us all the time. He's sitting at the right hand of the Father. Amen. He knows everything that's in our heart. He knows what we need. He knows what concerns us. Yeah. Better than us. And he's praying for all those things. In this prayer, we know that Jesus covered everything. Even when Jesus told his disciples to, to pray, he prayed for the things that the disciple knew. He knows everything about us. But believe they pray for you. He prayed back then and he continued praying. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord.